year And well Terminology S.T. Dot Nothing is real This whole rap game Guys, what is up? Welcome to another episode of Maximilian Must Know. This is going to be another video sponsored by Douglas over at Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Uh, he sent me some new products for December. and This is going to be the December video. Before I get into this video, you know, I really thought about some things. And, you know, a couple people who wet shave actually asked me, why did you want to work with Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements for a sponsorship um, on your channel. And I really thought about it for a while. And, uh, it, you know, I knew there was an answer, but I knew I had to sort of uncover the answer. Um, Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements products perform really well. But are there other houses that perform really well of course you know and wet shaving now with this indie explosion there are traditional brands and newer brands that perform excellently and phoenix artisan accoutrement products smell amazing are there other brands that smell amazing when it comes to soaps i would say yes when it comes to aftershave you know, it's a little more dicey of course barrister man smells really well it smells great um Obviously, you know, Katie's Bubbles, Razor Rock smells great. So, performance, smell, comparable. Other brands, absolutely. I don't think there's another brand as inventive and as willing to take risks as Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. No one gets me as excited as Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. No one's willing to just take it to that next level and do things that are unconventional and if they miss they miss but at least they're pushing that envelope i feel like a lot of brands are too feel like they're too safe and they're just okay with making that next green irish tweed or ventus clone uh, or that barbershop scent and i feel like doug and paa is always pushing the envelope so that's why just so you know I'm so excited and feel so comfortable pushing them and promoting them on my channel. Um, there's no one else that has the quality, the performance, and is as willing to do things as differently as Doug. And that's why I have all the respect for him in the world. Now, he sent me two products for December. Actually, four total products, but two, um, two fragrances two fragrance lines. The first one is Clown Fruit, and I was lucky enough to get this glow-in-the-dark stick and this aftershave. And basically, just so you guys know what you can, how you can purchase these if you're interested after I talk about them, is you can get a two-pack of the um, six for 10 bucks, uh, a jar of the soap for 15 bucks, or $25 for the aftershave. And actually, you can get the aftershave, a shave soap, and a bonus puck of pre-shave soap for $36. And the scent notes on this, on this, um, the soap, the stick, or the aftershave are wormwood, Hungarian oak, elderflower, absinthe, neroli, amorous, elderberry, burnt sugar, tobacco, and fear. And this is a scent sort of based um, around a fruit made from neroli and absinthe or wormwood. So it's sort of an imaginary scent. And Doug quotes that I experimented with adding dried wormwood and toasted Hungarian oak chips to the perfume as it matured over the weeks like the awkward bubbling teenage brother of Shakespeare's Three Words Sisters. Not only does wormwood give absinthe its bitter taste and psychic kick, it also gives it the otherworldly green tint. The results were amazing. I held a bottle of absinthe next to the jar that my batch matured in. It was uncanny. I had captured the soul of the green fairy. From there, I built upon the scent in a woolly, amorous, elderberry, elder flower, hydrosol, tobacco absolute, and burnt sugar, the most hypnotic part of the absence ceremony. The scent was rich and magical, the breath of the sacred clown, the sigh of the mime, and the heart of the harlequin, truly sinister yet captivating in a Stockholm Syndrome kind of way, a conversation piece with yourself. Clown fruit really took shape and became a world of its own to wear and explore if you dare. And so basically, clown fruit was a Halloween themed thing you know, based around the creepy clown. And Doug sort of wanted to come up with this fruit, imaginary fruit centered around a clown. And so he did this 
amazing glow in the dark stick which you know um i think is amazing that he actually did a shave stick and he did this aftershave and guys i gotta tell you it really does smell like a fruit like if neroli if you took neroli and you crossbred it with some sort of absinthe wormwood fruit it would smell like this um i definitely recommend you check this out just for the novelty of the item item it's a great item on its own and if you don't want to spend $25 to get the aftershave, which I understand, you know, spend the 10 bucks and get a couple of the shave sticks. Just so you could throw these in your bag. And when you travel, these are just super convenient. What you could do is you just peel these away. Um, you go somewhere, you wet your face up, you wet the stick up, you rub it on your face, and then you use your brush to get a nice good lather. These glow in the dark if you pull them up to the light, which is super cool. And again, just a touch. He dug, didn't need to throw in, but he did. And this just smells really good. It actually smells like a very bizarre fruit, which I guess Doug was aiming for. So he killed it on this one. I really think you guys should check this one out. It's just strange. It's cool. And there's not another product in, um, in the sort of artisan shaving game like this one. So I'm a big fan. Second product I want to talk to you guys about, and I have the soap as well, just so you can see. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, I sort of called it Kiratmati, right? Because I saw it as Kiratmati, but Doug was like, no, it's actually pronounced Christmas. And so it's here as well. I'll show you guys it up close again. And the price for this is $25 for the aftershave, $15 for the soap, $35 for the bundle. It's actually pronounced Christmas. And the scent notes on this one are frankincense, myrrh, bay, seaweed, toasted oak, ambergris, benzoin, blue spruce, tobacco, labdanum, and lavender. And Doug says this is what Christmas should smell like. However, it would take a dramatic series of events to make this possible. Santa needs to be real. Miss Santa leaves him because he's bored and sleeps too much. She just really longs to be held in the foot massage by the elves isn't cutting it anymore. Santa reacts to this rather poorly, heads to Christmas Island in the East Indies, and turns it into a pirate utopia. At least that's what comes to mind when I take a whiff of this stuff, oak barrel aged. That's right, folks. To keep with this theme, I decided to create an island inside each bottle, complete with sand from Christmas Island and a genuine West Indian bay leaf. Give it a shake. The sand is what is left of the residence used. Typically, this would be filtered out, but it worked perfectly for the snow globe effect. I mean, it looks just like sand. The bay leaf will add a little more bay zing over time. It can be removed easily if you like. It just looks really cool form and function. And really, who else would do this? And again, back to my point. So you can see with the shave soap, you actually have this sand and this bay leaf to sort of create a snow globe sort of look which is just super cool and of course you could shake it up and sort of get the effect you want with a snow globe um i'll just tell you a quick story about this one i got this in the mail last sunday um and i splashed some of this on my arm not even thinking about it and three hours later i smell my arm and i'm constantly testing stuff out just constantly testing new niche perfumes and samples I get. And I splashed this on my arm, and three hours later, I smelled my arm. And I was like, what the fuck is on my arm? Why does my arm smell so good? And I was like, what niche fragrance did I smell on my arm? I was looking through all my samples, and I couldn't find a sample. I couldn't find what sample it was. And then I started looking through my collection, and I was like, I don't know what fragrance this is. It just smelled like, um, incense and myrrh but it was sweet it had like a holiday note a fruity holiday note it really just smelled like christmas was on my arm in a niche perfume kind of way and then i remembered it was this and i'm telling you guys a hundred percent the truth and i think doug since he started using this um using oak cubes or um aging his fragrances in oak to make them more woody and and just more mature has really started to develop fragrances that can hang with niche fragrances in reality um and fragrances that last forever whether it's blue samhain or clown fruit or christmas these are incredible these are just incredible guys 
please try this one out. Again, this is a conversation piece. It's a great gift for you to get someone for Christmas. No one has an aftershave like this. Um, and this is just something you can, again, you can keep for years and years. Uh, I really recommend just grabbing a couple of these shave sticks. Oh, this smells so good. It really does smell like a mysterious fruit. And, you know, go on the website, look at some of the other stuff. I know he did a coal, uh, a soap inspired around coal, which has coal, which actually is good for your, your skin. You know, like a lump of coal shaving soap. I know he did like a candy cane shaving soap. No one is taking risks like this guy is. And no one is thinking about the product that you receive like Doug is. No one is just doing things differently. Everyone else is making soaps and aftershaves. And if they're being really daring, they're coming up with their own formulas. No one's thinking about the way you receive a product, the way you open a product, the way you look at a product, the way you interact with a product. I'm sorry, that's just reality. You know, you can say, oh, I'm a kiss ass, that's fine, whatever. I have a lot of subscribers. I can tell the truth when I do videos. I'm not gonna just tell people whatever for some shaving soap and aftershaves. Trust me, I have enough. I have enough fragrances. I have enough people sending me stuff. I don't feel like anyone's taking risks in the wet shaving game the way Douglas is. And that's why I respect him. I respect his brand. And I'm gonna keep talking about it until someone comes along and, uh, and, and does better. And I don't think that's coming anytime soon. And even then, I'll be loyal to Doug because he's an amazing guy. I really recommend you check this stuff out. I mean, it's just amazing. Give these aftershaves a go. Give give um, give Cloud for it a go. Again, these are pretty fairly priced when you think about the quality that goes into them. And let me know what you think of them. If you think I'm crazy, please let me know. I would love to hear it. But uh, give Christmas a look. Give Clown Fruit a look. Great presents, just great products. And I'll be back hopefully next week with another, next uh, month with more of Douglas's creations. Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements, guys. I'm going to link to the, um, to the site in the description so you can check their stuff out. Remember, they sell other stuff too um, on the website, not just from PAA, but uh, great, great gifts for the holiday season. All right, guys, I'll see you real soon with more videos. You already know what it is. My name is Maximilian. Yeah. So what's the deal? It's nothing that's real and it's all appearance. Witches that call the spirits catching spells on the realest. Hookers be catching feelings and feeling like you the menace. All up in your business trying to be fussy and jealous. I learned